Hey everybody, welcome. I am Karen Laura, and this is a brand new video for all of you. This is the first video in a new series that I'll be doing on the channel talking about iOS 13 accessibility functions and features. And in this first video of the series, we will be talking and I will be demonstrating voice control. Yes, Apple has finally added voice control to your iDevices running iOS 13. So, without further ado, let's get right into the demonstration. So let's get right into voice control. Go to settings, accessibility, voice control, and once you get in there, you have to enable it. And there are a few settings here you can play with, such as show confirmation and or play a sound, which I like to do because I like to hear when I've done something. And the overlay is going to that. And you can choose to have the numbers or names of the apps. I prefer numbers myself, so I'm going to put it on numbers, and now I'm going to go back out and show you how voice control actually works. Now you can see all the apps have numbers. You are able to have the app name in the corner instead of numbers, but I prefer numbers. So let me show you some basic things first before I open an app. Swipe left. Swipe right. Swipe right. Swipe left. Swipe left. Three. Now each app in each folder also will have a number that you can choose and interact with that app. Go home. I'm going to show you what voice control looks like within an app. Let's try the music app first. 10. 1. Two. And basically from the music app, you are able to choose whatever song you want and play it. Two. And this is what it looks like. Let's check out the radio. Eleven. Scroll down. Scroll down. Let's check out some 17. Oh, okay. I don't want Apple Music. Thank you very much. Go home. Let me show you what voice control looks like in Safari. It's kind of crazy, so get ready. Nine. There we go. It is a little overwhelming at first to get your head around where all these numbers are pointing at exactly. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to figure out. So let's see what I can show you on YouTube. Let's see what's trending. 31. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. 49. Scroll down. Scroll down. And then, if you want to scroll in a certain row, like stories of style, show numbers. 29. 
Set numbers. 31. Go home. So that is basically how voice control is working on an iDevice as of this moment. Hopefully Apple will continue the system and upgrade it and update it and keep it going because I think it's a great step for Apple in the right direction of voice control and voice activation features on their iDevices. I hope you enjoyed that. If you made it through the video this far, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, please click the bell icon and click all so you can receive all my notifications. Alright, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions about voice control or about any other accessibility features, on iOS 13, please ask, all right? And I will do my best to answer. All right, so thank you for watching, and as always, keep rolling.